welcome back to my channel so i know i have not been uploading in such a long time and i apologize for that i have literally been so busy with school with, I don't know, like, with school and, uh, I'm, like, in the middle of my semester for school and, and honestly been the toughest as well so taking five classes and each one requires so much work and so much wanted to film um a haul video today because i have accumulated a, a couple of stuff throughout months and months of me going there and um i just wanted to make a little haul video okay, so let's go ahead and get on with this video it's going to be a couple of items um that i'm going to be showing you guys so don't expect like a huge haul but at the same time yeah i did spend a good amount of money okay well i didn't but you know what i mean okay so the first item that i found was this naked skin um what's it called concealer so this is the naked urban decay naked skin weightless complete coverage concealer in medium light neutral so i've been wanting to try this concealer for the longest time i just never really went to buy it on this i was like i need to get this right now i've been wanting to try that and the perfect thing about this is that honestly you guys might think that's a it's a con but for me it's a pro because it's actually inside a little tiny bottle i'm guessing it's like a mini or a, not a sample but just a mini version of the nake of the concealer and i think this is so perfect for me especially because i am going to be traveling in the summer so as the urban decay as you can tell it is tiny it's probably yeah it's like half the size of the big one so minus the little the applicator one um, and the best part of this is the price which also was another thing that persuaded me to buying it it was $3.99 guys $3.99 can't make this up that's done so another thing so I have tried filming this video one time before so this thing actually doesn't have the packaging but it's okay i still remember the price with the packaging and then i realized i didn't like the quality of the video so i just decided to film it yet again here we are so with that being said this doesn't come with the little box it came but this was 10 um yeah it was 10 dollars, so 9.99 and this is the becca shimmery skin perfector pressed uh gradient glow and it is basically look it basically looks like this so i what i could use utilize this for is maybe a bronzer a highlight even a blush down here so i know a lot of you guys don't like to really swirl your brush or have like mixed shades inside um one little what's it called one little pan pan thing and one little product for me i don't really mind it that much um especially if it makes a really pretty color in the end and that i could also utilize it as a highlight as a blush so i feel like it's very versatile which is really nice and i haven't i don't actually have any becca products in my collection so i feel like this is a good time to try it especially because it was at a really great price so there was that another two things that i found at the same store along with those things were these milani uh blushes and i believe highlight well this is a face powder but it says it could be a highlight bronzer and blush well, i got these two this one is in color harmony i think this is such a really pretty rich color look at that isn't that beautiful oh and it was 2.99 for that and then i also got this one this one's amber nectar I feel like this is just another really pretty color. This is so gorgeous. I can't. And this is also $2.99. I really like Milani's packaging. I just think it's so luxurious looking for drugstore makeup. I love that. Am I going out of focus? I really hope I was not out of focus that entire time. So yeah, so I'm really loving this packaging. I think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be so annoyed if I really was out of focus. Okay. So continuing on, I have these Estee Lauder's uh, makeup wipes. I actually bought two of these. You, may, may, you guys may think like, hey, you know, makeup wipes are horrible for your face. Yeah, I know. I bought these before I ended up 
you know, researching myself a little bit more with um, skincare because I'm really trying to take care of my skin lately. And I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job. But I did buy these prior to, I guess, learning that and coming to terms that, like, maybe I shouldn't use makeup wipes. But at the same time, I don't want to throw them away. And I bought these a while, a while back, so I can't return them either. And honestly, I just I just really like it, and it's so convenient because I don't have to wash. Like, I don't have I I could just take this, take off my makeup, and then if I'm lazy enough, I won't wash my face. So once I'm finished with all of my wake up wipes that I already have, I will start using a more gentle way to take off my makeup. The Estee Lauder Perfectionist Pro Rapid Renewal Ret Retinol Treatment. I've been seeing results with this so i really 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 enjoy this product um a lot so the thing about retinol is that you're only allowed to use it at night if you use it during the day and you go out without any sunblock it basically just uh deactivates i think that's what the correct word um it's not active anymore so it's an active ingredient so you're only allowed to use it at night and if you use it in the morning make sure to put sunblock if not it's not going to work and you're basically just putting useless stuff on your face so i only put this at night i only put a small little dot of it um on my skin i mean on my face and i really really love this so so much um if you guys want to see like a skit like i'm if you guys want to see a nighttime routine on on my skincare, uh, comment that down below and I will for sure do that. Oh, I dropped it. Because I honestly have been loving skincare a lot lately and I have my, my beauty, my skincare products actually right behind you. Um, so I have like a good routine of the things that I do do. So if you guys want to see me do a skincare routine... Okay, so the last but not least, I have this beautiful little palette. So this is something I actually don't have in my collection. So I was pretty excited picking this up. One, because it was neon. Two, because it reminds me of the summer. And three, because I can be able to take this with me on the plane alongside with my little concealer like it's just a small little compact palette and i'm like yes what exact exactly what i need so cute can't wait to take it so basically this is the w7 vivid fluorescent and fabulous pressed pigment so i've seen videos on this before and they said that this was the, actually the dupe of the hoodie beauty one where they did like kind of the same palette so this was a dupe. This actually came in two other different, what's it called? Two other different, like there was two other different products from the same line. So there was, I think, a purple and a yellow one. They weren't at Marshall's, but I know that like, there was a whole line that came along with this palette. So, it, I mean, if it was there, I definitely would have picked it up. But there was only this, so I only got this, obviously. So, like, um... Continuing on. So yeah, this is the Vivid Fluorescent and Fabulous Pigment. These colors are so stinking beautiful. I just can't with myself. It's so freaking pretty. And I'm so happy that no one touched it. Because you know Marshalls, everyone likes to touch the products. Like to test it on their skin and whatnot. And it just makes the product unbuyable basically at that point. So no one has touched this. I was so happy when I saw it. And the price to this was so beautiful too. It was $2.99. $2.99 for this little palette. I couldn't be happier. I just saw it and it just... It bring... It, it bring happiness into my life for that very second. So, okay. Now we have concluded this haul video. I didn't have a lot to show, but I did basically spend a lot at the time. Like, if you put all the money together, I spent a lot, but it wasn't all in one sitting, basically, is what I'm saying. So, just want to say thank you guys for so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, click the notification bell so you do know when I do upload, because I will be uploading a lot more. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Mwah.